Hi, I'm Toby Loxon of TFL Creative Media, and once again, this is another vlog. I didn't intend to do a vlog of any kind, um, but a lot of sort of like random and interesting things have happened in the last month, which I captured on film. And at the revelation that I was going to get to go to London Film and Comic Con, I figured that with also the other stuff I filmed, that why not just make an entire vlog capturing the last month? So. Even though this wasn't planned, I hope you do enjoy it because I think that the people who I interacted with and the things we did, I think they had a good time as well. Isn't that true, Alex? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, take take, take it from her because she was actually she was actually there with me. Mm. Yeah, it's likely my fault that he didn't get to plan to do a vlog or whatnot because of work and stuff. But you know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like I said, like I said. Let's just actually no, just, yeah. Like I, said, I didn't even plan this. Just yeah, just have a watch of it. You you might fi you find it funny. Well, I didn't find it funny. But. Well, I think he found my reaction to my first comp funny. <laughs> well, well, let's find out and see what that is. That's just worth the entire vlog alone. Yeah, that is. All right, let's get on with it. <laughs> Right, mechanical issues fixed. Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's take two of them. Let's just spread the piece. Hold on, Ezra. Well, this is quite intriguing. Almost like you're going into like a, se into a secret, like pathway or secret line. Not forgotten by time. This is sweet. This is real sweet. Very interesting. Oh, go! Oh, we're going into a tunnel. Tunnel! Woo! I've got some water in my face. Yeah, I got it in my mouth. Where are my feet? Where are my feet? You're fine. Oh, I love this. This is now. This is, this is a, there's an air of mystique to this. I'm out for the long straight. I'm starting to scale model of a Jubilee. Out of a 26.5 or 33. Some sort of prompting. I think it's 33. This will be rude. Huh? Hello? I don't know nothing about her, so I'm cool. Got it. Hands in. Okay, say something. Say goodbye to the camera. Bye, camera. Thank you very, very much. We'll see you on the other side.
Absolutely gorgeous and bright. I mean, I'm sorry for doing this on an iPhone. I mean, the footage isn't doing the exquisite beauty, natural beauty justice. But I can tell you, oh, that is just a sight for sore eyes. In fact, it is giving me sore eyes just staring at it, right at it. But it's going behind those trees, so be going down soon but just whilst it lasts just oh, yes fantastic absolutely gorgeously fantastic gosh that is the second time that steamroller has actually come by around this town what if it's actually local i mean i just heard the noise like increasing outside my window I just thought it was some, like, loud lorry, and that's what I thought last time when it came by the first time, so... Clearly, I keep missing the signs, and do not know what a frickin' steamroller sounds like to get the footage in time so you can see it in all its glory. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, I think that just... That... That just, um, illustrates my point. But yeah, again, you did catch a small glimpse of it, and I did see it. Who knows, maybe I'll come round for a third time. Let's hope. Okay, this wig is just a slew of classic vehicles. Well, actually, the steamroller and now a vintage bus. Take a closer look. I'm always a stickler for a good old fashioned bus. Especially if they're native to this part of the country in Sussex. And once again, I do not have my camcorder for better footage. Bastard. Okay, so it turns out that this um, this bus is actually um, the Southdowns bus that was built in uh, 1967. 
is actually part of a small collection of other buses where they've got like three other duffel deckers and other single coaches, all South Downs. And apparently they hire these out for special events like uh, weddings, um, um, me uh, like meetings and get togethers. This one is currently, um, um, I spoke to the driver and he said that currently this one is being hired out on a, um, um, a birthday celebration and um, he's just waiting around for the call so that he can take all the guests back to wherever for and he said he was apparently going to be waiting for like uh, two hours or so but that's basically um, the reason why the unordinary is um, amongst the ordinary so that's a real um, that's a real highlight to my day like I said I always do love a good old-fashioned vintage bus so real treat so that means I can just um, carry on with my day then and see if I can um, catch it um, leaving the town um, later on today when it takes it to get home, I guess. I heard a noise outside on the road, turned around, and it was the back end of the bus. I just missed it. Damn it! Yes! I damn well caught that one! I mean, this is becoming a bit of a habit around this neighbourhood, but... At least I'm starting to improve upon my timing when it comes to getting these shots. You hear the noise? You put the camera on. Absolutely fantastic that I caught this one this time. And a nice traction engine at that. Nice little treat. Indeed. Oh my god, that's a bit of a military air thing going on there. You've got a troop carrier and that at the front is actually an Apache helicopter gunship. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think the conclusion from all of these um, uh, diverse range of vehicles that have been cropping up in my part of the neighbourhood, if you want to see these kinds of vehicles more often, um, just come to Sussex. Spend time in Sussex, lovely county. Cool stuff to show, clearly. <laughs> Once again, I missed the opportunity to get a close up. I am so bad at this, I am so sorry, but what they were, ladies and gentlemen, those are trails of frickin' red arrow jet fighters. What a sight. It's such a pity I couldn't get up closer to them. I really do apologise. And I really do need to get better at this. Despite me capturing that traction engine the other day. But you know, practice makes perfect after all. Hey, look what I found. Content! <laughs> content? Well, my face is just content. Yeah, this is just con this is con content. Hi, I'm Yasmin, in case you didn't know. I think, I think they will remember from the last vlog. So you vlog. would remember. Um... Here is a clip to remind you of who she is. You're a 12! I can't! I can't do anything! Okay, clip over. So, I'm, I'm just um, chilling out at Yasmin. So we're about to watch some Ruby together, which is absolutely yeah. fantastic. Great Western animation. Totally recommend it. Before she um, goes on holiday, anything to say about that? Uh, I actually don't want to go away. I like England. Please don't let me go on holiday. Yeah, there's so much to see here, but my but although I won't, I'll, I'll try and take the trails less as possible because I was actually meant to get here for like six. I mean, right now it's um, it's that time. It's that time. Yep. And I was meant to get here like about what an hour hour before. Yeah. But my train was delayed, delayed, and then I it was all to to um and to yeah. Let's try that again. My train was delayed to Free Bridges. Then the train I had to go on from Free Bridges to Ifill, which is where we are, cancelled. <laughs> so I got off at Crawley, and then I ran all the way from Crawley all the way down here. And Google Maps said it would take me 30, 30 minutes to get there. Took me just 15. Mic drop or phone drop. I, either way, I beat Google Maps.
Yes. Thank you very much. But we are not here to sightsee. Okay. Professor Peach has asked all of you to collect samples from the trees deep inside this forest. And I'm here to make sure that none of you die while doing so. Oh, it just looks so good on that massive screen. It does. Enjoying it? Yeah. I am. Although I'm, I'm, I'm kind of interested as to why you don't think I should ship the two characters. What, Ruby and Jean? Just wait, just wait until the future, because things happen. <laughs> but I've got to go soon, so... We'll see each other again. Yeah, we will do. Like, when I get back from holiday, definitely. Maybe going later on, but, you know, and leaving you, which is a shame, but... You'll be able to see this vlog um, out of you're on holiday. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, London Film Comic Con. That should be great. We should actually just um, cut to preparations for that. Um, next, maybe not next. Maybe after that. It will come and come momentarily. <laughs> Wait, no, never mind. Um, not quite at um, London Film Comic Con yet. Instead, go we're here in the Sussex Sound of Lewis to provide you with more content in the form of Benedict Webb. Hi, Benedict Webb. Hello, how are you? I'm good. I think we just missed our bus. <laughs> Did you see it? Um, actually, it's quite a way off yet. But we'll it's 29, it just went. Yeah, actually, yeah, quite significantly. But there'll be another one coming in like 17 minutes. So we'll conclude this at Mr. Walters' house. So right now, I'm at uh, Harry Walters' house. There he is right there, just uh, chit chilling out, looking like a boss. And Benedict's here also. We're just um, debating and, well, not really debating, more or less just um, discussing and brainstorming ideas about this um, uh, World War One short film that we're all working on to get them together. Harry got the gig and he's, in, he's inviting us to play, basically. <coughs> Want to tell the audience about it or something? Uh, it's just a World War One film for a charity event for October because it marks the 100th anniversary since the ending of the First World War. Um, so yeah, we've been asked to make a short film about that. And we're doing it in Crowborough, right? <coughs> we are, yeah. You nailed it. I feel like you're zooming in on my face right now. That's exactly what I'm doing. Yeah, I thought so. You sounded at the beginning like you were just going to be like, yeah, I'm making a film, but you actually went yeah, off. Yeah, I'm making a film <laughs> about World War One. But, but in fairness, this is actually kind of fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I just come down, down here and you're just like, just like back. This is a guy who really is thinking. Oh, oh. what can <laughs> it, Does it feel weird watching stuff knowing it's your house? Oh, they're, 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 they're talking. They're talking about um short short film that they, they made for um final final year. Everyone knows soft is a classic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling this classic already. Well, if it's if it's around on the web, I'll provide a link li link to it in the description for you guys to check out and see marvelous work oh, because yeah. Benedict is the best filmmaker out of the three of us. It's true. Don't knock it. I didn't say anything. No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to Benedict. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I was just trying to. I was just trying. I, maybe I'm just being weird. Weird? Never. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is actually kind of hilarious. So right now I'm being given a lift um, back to the bus stop to get um, to get back home, and I'm in a van that belongs to Harry's dad. And right now I, I well, there was no, there's no third seat, so Benedict got that even though I said shotgun, and now I'm back here. I mean, it's a weird sensation. You don't really know where you're going. You don't really know what direction you're, ta you're taking. Like, it actually, j like Harry said, it's like you generally feel like you're going off to war or going to prison or something. It's, but it's funny. I mean, it's really funny. Although, if you do have a crash, there's a lot of tools, sharp tools in here that could decapitate or amputate me. Yeah, that sort of stuff. <laughs> so yeah, like, not the not the most um, convenient of situations to be in, but it's a funny one nonetheless. Mainly because it's temporary and I'm not staying in here forever. <laughs> I hope. Yeah, I'm I'm free. 
Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much for the Mr. Walters. <laughs> yeah, I'm luckily I didn't yeah. stay in there forever. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you survived. Me too. I was actually starting right. to feel a bit, bit, bit weird Take in the head. Care. Take care. Take care. Wow, that was all fun. I guess we move on to the next bit. I mean, crossing the road. Yeah, literally. We will cross the road. Yeah, run. We have arrived. Sort of. Okay, so right now, um, me and this lovely woman, she, we are, um, yeah, we are um, at um, Kenston Olympia Station, and the convention is right opposite us. But we can't because, but we can't really go there because we're waiting patiently for um, Emmy Pepper. You might remember her from the last one we met her at MCM Comic Con. Play your clip. Show us. Hey. Show us. Please freaking Doug gently. Oh, I love him so much. I love my life. <laughs> so once she's come along, we will exchange pleasantries and then basically get inside. Basically, by what you mean to exchange pleasantries is give her a massive hug and tell her how much we love her. Oh, this is Alice, by the way. <laughs> basically, that. Sorted. We're all here. Amy's here. She's got jammy dodgers. <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. Let's get inside. So that we did. But unfortunately, I can't really um, show you or present to you the experiences that we had at um, a London and Film Comic Con the way that I did with MCM. Mainly because, I mean, we knew what we were doing at MCM and know what we're expecting and it was much easier to sort of anticipate and it was Alice's um his first convention he she was going around all over the place uh, from place to place so I couldn't really um, show the proper experiences that I went through through the perspective of the camera but there were some um, good moments that I can point out and I'm going to basically recall some of the like most important and relevant things that happened because there, there, there were still some good things that happened I just can't presented to you in the way that I did for the last vlog with MCM stuff but and it, and I'll, but I'll try and make it as um, engaging as possible basically and interesting so the experience at um, this convention was actually a pretty decent one I mean it's not sort of like um, MCM I kind of just prefer MCM to this one but in that time there were some great things and some decent things that um, we did. We went to some really great stores, like there was some really cool stuff on sale, like um, I got this uh, um, Harry Potter um, Time Turner necklace, which I think is r really fun. I mean, a lot of people go for Deathly Hallow necklaces, but I think this one is actually um, real unique and special. And also, um, I there was a stand where they were having a bit of a sale on... Um, um, Geeky shirt wearing. I got this um, this jacket, um, this Agents of Shield bomber jacket. Like it's got a um, massive logo on the front. And normally I think it would be something for like uh, thirty quid, but I got this one on the sale for um, just a tenner. Just a tenner for this. It's really good, and it was the right size, which is even more better. And also there were some like some actually decent activities. There was this one that uh, me and Amy went to that was um, set up to look like um, um, the inside of 221B Baker Street from the Sherlock TV series. Hey Amy, would you like to explain to my viewers what we're about to do? Um, we're taking a picture in a Sherlock room thing for an escape room. <laughs> 
long story short it is they're promoting a new game uh, the game is now on a collaboration with escape room and the bbc sherlock and we're going to be posing for a completely free photo there were also some really nice um pictures of well not really pictures they were actual models of proper um uh, proper daleks which were real um which was which was really nice which was real a lot of fun of course, the main attraction with this particular convention is the stars that they have. I mean, there are so many different actors there from all different genres and, fran and franchises. But for me, it was all about Doctor Who actors. And I want to get a chance to get a photograph with one of them, at the very least. And that was basically the highlight, really. Like, um, I did manage to get some um, sneak shots of um, Peter Capaldi and Pearl Mackey signing autographs. And um, my mate Amy, she actually got a, a proper photo with um, Ingrid Oliver, who plays Osgood in, the Dot in some Doctor Who episodes. And, but like I said, the highlight for me was definitely getting the chance to get a photograph with uh, the 8th Doctor, Paul McGann, and it was a real delight. I was so excited and I was so grateful and, and so I was really, yeah, I don't regret this decision that, to get that autograph because like, it's like I said, the pho photos, the picture paints a thousand words and I, and photos last forever, whilst a dwelling memory of a chat through an autograph session could actually fade away quite easily. So, getting that photo as a lasting memory, and I'm going to get that frame. So, I made an ambition to try and get photographs with every single doctor that I can find in cosplay, and I was actually quite successful. The only one I couldn't find was uh, Seven, a uh, cosplayer for Sylvester McCoy's. But I did get the rest, and that's, that's um, yeah, that's better than nothing. They call me the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I am the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I am the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I'm the Doctor. I was delighted to see the amount of people, both men and women, who were in the 12th Doctor Jodie Whittaker outfits, cos cosplaying as that. That was that was a real pleasure to see. I also got some a good photos with some Cybermen, and so did Alice, which was a, which is something good. I got photos with Daleks and Cybermen, and actually the TARDIS itself. So I got some photographs next to the TARDIS, and I um and also got a, it got a bit of a backdrop, which was real fun. I did meet some really cool new mates who are really into Doctor Who. It's a real delight. And actually, one of them is ironically I already met at MCM. There was this guy who was actually cosplaying as the Fourth Doctor. And apparently my girlfriend knows him to some extent, and I actually met him properly. His name's Darren, I think, or something like that, when we begin with D. And now, now I'm basically befriending him on Facebook, and it's real pleasure. And, um, yeah, I think, I, it's, it's really good. It's, it was, yeah, like I said, it was a good experience. There were some real fun moments, like, scattered throughout. <laughs> Dabbing. <laughs> no, 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 I forbid it. I forbid dabbing. I forbid it, sir. I don't follow you. There were also some really great surprises. So if people recall from the last vlog that Amy appeared, appeared in, like she met Samuel Barnett, which I'm so com still completely jealous about. Samuel Barnett, who plays Dirk on Dirk Jenny's Sister Detective Agency, that's the guy I was cosplaying. And Yasmin is into, um, it, it, it is just as much into Samuel as we are. And we were just going around this, um, this um, stand with, old, with Doctor Who toys, and we found these like audio adventures. There were some cool ones from um, the Doctor's Georgia Jenny, some a Colin Baker one, Peter, um, David Tennant one. But then we found, we found a Torchwood audio drama, and guess who's on the front of it and starring in it? Samuel Barnett is officially part of Doctor Who history at, in Torchwood. I'm sure. He's teaming up with a character from Torchwood and they're going to save it apparently. This is good, I just can't wait. This is the first time I've ever discovered this. It's brilliant. I can't wait to see what Yaz thinks of this. Yeah, there was also some really unusual sights as well. What the f*** is that? 
What the hell is that? Who the hell is Bucky? <laughs> you know. And overall, uh, we all had a very good time. I think Alice definitely did as well. Alice, how was your first convention? Uh, I spent too much money. <laughs> but no regrets. Until I look at my bank account. What do you think has been the highlight? Uh, 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 there's too many, but probably... First of all... Second of all... And third of all, this little gem that I managed to find I'd just like to point out, those stuff might not mean anything to you, but to this one right here, it means a lot. In fact, a whole childhood. Practically, yes. Stargate SG-1 was my childhood. Part of my childhood. There's other stuff to do in my childhood, but it's like a big part. So you recommend it? Yes. Excellent. But then sort of like after we left the uh, convention, I did come to the conclusion like, yeah, I do prefer MCM. It's not like I didn't enjoy it or anything, but I, me and Amy were in agreement that like, if we did sort of did the whole three days from Friday to Sunday, I mean, we, we basically saw everything on that Saturday. It's not like there wasn't much to offer or anything. I just, I don't know, I just prefer MCM and it, it just has that feel to it. I don't know. It's not like I took my enjoyment out of it. And also, like I said, it was Alice's first convention, so there was a lot of running around from stalls to stalls, and it was, it was very, um, it was actually quite tiring on the legs, to be honest, which is usually not really a problem, usually a problem for me, but it was, so, it, it, it was not really, it was not like I was in hell, because I wasn't, I actually was enjoying being immersed in that sort of, like, world, and seeing the, the smile on Alice's faces, and making Amy happy. But overall, it, it 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 was actually a decent day out and a pretty um a pretty decent end to the end of the month. So there you have it, really. That's sort of like the experience at London and Film Comic Con. I mean, I did think that like from sort of like this this sort of like like description of it, it would be more. I think because I'm really into my movies and TV shows. I mean, but. I mean, it, like I, I could keep saying it till I'm blue in the face, but like, I just feel like then I feel like if I went for a second time, the circumstances might be a bit, bit, a bit different. But like, for what it is, I it was a decent day out of London, and it's just nice that I got to go to my first convention with a girlfriend. It was, it was, it was really, it was, it was nice for even that. So. Yeah, that was the experience in a whole. Not sort of the way how you, I would conventionally present it because there was not really enough time to really do proper vlogging. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And I do hope that that wasn't too boring for you. And I hope that you enjoyed this this vlog in, gen in general. Because I feel like, yeah, like I said at the beginning, that... A lot sort of happened in this month I wasn't expect expecting, well like just sort of sm small to big things and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to just capture them on film and if you like this style, if you have any feedback about it, I would really like to know and just in general, um, have a really good morning or afternoon or night or day depending on what time of day it is and keep an eye out. Um, very soon for more videos to come related to LOBR stuff and other videos related to short films, some re some other little things there and there. Because I feel like I owe some people some explanations and some questions need to be answered. But those are for another video, and I don't really want to sort of like make a vlog about that. And I'll dedicate separate videos to those. So in the meantime, like I said. Hope you enjoyed yourself because I quite enjoyed making this vlog and basically I'll see you whenever I see you in my next video.